Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I want to answer a few of your questions that I get pretty often and before we start the video, I wanted to remind you to press subscribe and if you need to reach me, you can contact me by email at lc at queen with the k.com. We're going to start by the first question. Can the Hyaluron device be used on the breast and thighs? And the answer to that is yes, it can be used anywhere basically on the body, but the breast and thighs are quite large, so if you're going to use it on those areas, it's going to take a long time. I don't really suggest it because you're going to be filling the ampoule over and over and over again. It's going to take so long. I mean, if you think about it, the Hyaluron device only uses, if you're using a 0.3 ml or a 0.5 ml ampoule or device, you know, the amount's so small, how much you're going to fill? That's going to take quite a lot of mLs. Uh, how much is a breast or a thigh going to take? It's going to take at least 10 mL, 20 mL, 30 mLs to, in order to fill a breast or a thigh. So you're going to want to use probably a syringe method for that. I don't really recommend a hyaluron device for that. I mean, if you really want to go for it, go for it. If you have a little dimple maybe, but if you want to actually fill for volume, I don't really recommend a hyaluron device for this kind of area because it's just going to take forever and you probably have dimpling because it's injecting such small amounts at a time that it'll probably take you forever. So my opinion on that is probably not. It'll probably just be way too difficult to achieve the results and way too long to achieve the results. So I mean... If you really want to try, you can go for it. Like I said, Hyaluron device could be used anywhere in the body, but that's just my opinion. Question number two. A lot of people are asking me what's the difference between a 0.3 ml pen and a 0.5 ml pen. There's no difference in the function. The only difference is the size and the amount of filler that it holds. The 0.3 ml pen is a little bit smaller than the 0.5 ml pen in weight and size. So the 0.5 ml pen holds a little bit more product than the 0.3 ml. The ampoule is a little bit smaller on the 0.3 ml pen. The 0.5 ml pen is a little bit heavier and it's a little bit larger in the hand. So especially if you're using it on yourself, some people prefer the smaller pen, the 0.3 ml, because it's a little bit lighter and when you're using it on yourself it's a little less awkward. But it also depends on the area you're filling because if you're filling a larger area you might want to go with the larger pen because you'll, you won't have to refill it as often so that'll depend on the amount of filler you're going to be using of course and also the comfort in your hand sometimes the 0 0.5 can be a little bit awkward when you're filling it on yourself because it's a little bit heavier so that's all personal preference. It's really up to you when you're working on someone else and you're using a little bit more filler. Uh, you might want to go with the 0 0.5 because that way you don't have to fill it so often. And if you're using really just a little touch up on someone or if you're just using it a little, a little filler on your lip or a little dimple, you might want to go with the 0 0.3 ml. So that's really a personal choice. The function of the device is the same. The Duo device is available. You just want to make sure that when you're using the device, you want to make sure the ampoule matches your device. So if you do have a 0.3 ml device, you need to have the 0.3 ml ampoule to match. You can't use a 0.5 ml ampoule on a 0.3 ml device. Unless you have the duo device, you have a little adapter, you can change the adapter according to the ampoule that you're going to use. So that's available as well. That's it. So it's really a preference, a matter of preference, and it's also depending on the area you're going to be filling. If you're going to be filling a little area, you can go with a smaller pen. If you're going to be filling a larger area, you might want to go with a larger one, just so you don't have to keep readjusting and refilling. So then we have question number three, which is how do I decide which pen to use and which size to use if you have the Duo device? And that can all depend on the area that you're filling and the amount of filler that you're going to be injecting. And it's also gonna depend on your hand as well because if you're working on yourself, some people don't wanna have the heaviness in their hand. It can be a little bit awkward when you're using the 0.5 ml because the ampoule is a little bit longer and the device is a little bit heavier if you have the 
ml device it's a little heavier than the 0 0.3 so people think it's a little awkward when you're working on yourself and also like I said the M pool is a little bit longer so you're holding your hand a little bit further from your face also it depends on the area you're filling so if you're filling a larger amount you might want to use a 0 0.5 because that way you can only you only have to fill it twice per ml and if you're using the 0 0.3 you'll have to fill it three times per ml if you're only filling like a little touch-up like a dimple you can use the 0 0.3 ml if you're just doing a little touch-up like I said so that is a personal preference it's really like I said they both function the same it's whatever one you're more comfortable to use. The Duo device, you can switch it up. The actual device is the same size, it's just the ampoules that differ. And you have a little attachment that changes on the end of the device and you change the ampoule that you wanna use. You'll fill it with the hyaluronic acid that you're gonna be using and it's the ampoule that's gonna change size, not the device. And question number four, people ask if they can dilute their hyaluronic acid with saline. The answer to that is an absolute no. You cannot dilute your hyaluronic acid with saline. Your hyaluronic acid must stay in the sterile state that you purchased it as until it's ready for injection. Don't mix it or transfer it into anything else other than the ampoule that you're going to inject with that attaches onto your hyaluron device. You must keep your hyaluronic acid in its original state that you're going to be injecting the product into your skin. Don't attempt to mix your own this can cause contamination and put you at risk for infection and disease. It can be very dangerous and you don't want to put yourself at risk. I really don't recommend it. Please don't be attempting this type of stuff. Doing this type of thing can put you at risk for infection, okay? So please don't be doing this type of thing. If you want a specific viscosity, just look it up and go from there. The Hyaluron pen is specific, so if you go with uh, anything over a 23 mg per ml, it won't penetrate into the skin. So please be careful what you're purchasing as well. If you go too thin, the product won't last. So Hyaluron Queen, if you're interested in why you should purchase my product, it's because it's thick enough to last and it's thin enough to penetrate into the skin. If you buy too thin, the product won't last, and if you buy too thick, it won't penetrate. So if you need any product, like I said, you can email me, contact me through email. It's lc at hyaluron-queenwithak.com. And feel free to contact me if you have any questions. We're going to get to the last question here. People are asking me if I use numbing cream when I'm doing the service or if they need numbing cream when they want to do the service on themselves or anyone else. I don't use numbing cream. You don't need numbing cream. The Treatment is quite tolerable. I don't find it to be painful. It can be a little bit uncomfortable for some people. Numbing cream is not necessary. It's not dangerous. If you want to use it, you can. Some people want to use it and others don't find it to be necessary. So you can use your judgment if you're feeling a little nervous. Go ahead and use it. If you've never used the Hyaluron device before and you're curious to what it feels like, and you don't have numbing cream and you're afraid to use it on your face for the first time, you can always inject it into your hand just to feel what it's like first. The sound of the device is a little bit scarier than what it actually feels like. So, you know, you can set it off a few times to get familiar with the sound and you can try it on your hand, like I said, to just get familiar with the feel of the injection and you'll see that it's not so bad, it's not scary and it actually feels just like a little elastic flicking on your skin and it's really tolerable and don't forget that after treatment you want to ice the area if you're doing sensitive areas like around the eyes or even the lips you can always ice before as well if you're a little bit nervous icing the areas before injection also can cause the veins to restrict so this can also help with swelling and bruising so it's always a good idea to ice before and it's a great idea and a must on the lips to ice after. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you all stay safe. Contact me by email. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos. I hope you all have a great night and take care of yourselves. Bye guys.